Some of our strengths are structural biology, gene regulation with a focus on epigenetics, and then sort of diving into those two areas, we think a lot about uh, virology, we think about um, cancer, a lot of close connections with the Cancer Center here at UF, um, and then uh, the center that I'm part of that's a relatively new center is the Center for Neurogenetics, where we study um, diseases related to neuromuscular um, sort of challenges. So the thing that interests me about biochemistry is I feel like biochemistry and molecular biology really asks the questions of what's going on. I really want to understand everything that's going on, especially even in a disease, because I feel like you need the whole picture um, when you're studying a disease in order to find out which way you have to go to cure that disease. When I came here for my interview, I really just I fell in love with it. I, um, it was close to my family. I got really interested in Andy's research and the biochemistry department was just so welcoming. What drew me here was there was already a strength in RNA processing and in particular there's a form of uh, muscular dystrophy we study called myotonic dystrophy. A lot of people don't even realize when, they, when we talk about muscular dystrophy that it's actually a term for about 40 different diseases. And the disease of myotonic dystrophy we study is actually the most common adult form of muscular dystrophy. Um, and there's uh, three other researchers here at UF that you know, are leaders in the field, so I, coming here, I was able to, so we've built probably maybe the top place in the world for myotonic dystrophy research. And something else that drew me to the University of Florida is that there's um, clinicians that are interacting with myotonic dystrophy patients all the time, and so my, my students and I get to interact with those patients as well, and that really motivates us. We're applying engineering and biochemistry together because we're, what we're doing is we're basically engineering synthetic proteins in order to um, bind to toxic repeats that are present in diseases like myotonic dystrophy, ALS, um, Huntington's disease, and these proteins bind that toxic RNA and release all the natural proteins that are found in your cells. And so by that release, it will ameliorate the effects or symptoms of that disease. One of the real strengths at UF is that we have a lot of centers and institutes and what that does is that brings faculty and labs from different departments in close proximity frequently but also through collaborations and writing grants together and training. Um, you know my graduate students that are that are in the lab now have all these great extra basically mentors who have expertise who sit on their committees who are in the center they interact with them almost on a daily occurrence and so having sort of that critical mass to move the field forward is is amazing. So I think that is one of the benefits for graduate students is that you know they can go down the hall and there's two or three other faculty that are you know in their offices from the Center for Neurogenetics who can provide another layer or level of expertise that you know you're not going to get at any other institution.